One of the most popular doctrines taught by most Christ-oriented religious groups is original sin. Original sin states that each of us was born in sin based on Adam and Eve's original sin. The doctrine teaches that while Adam and Eve were made in the image of God, that image was corrupted when they sinned. Accordingly, each of us is born with a corrupted and sinful nature. I don't see the Bible teaching this overall, but that defense is for another day. You see, there are scriptures used by original sin advocates to show that this doctrine is legitimate. Christian family writers oftentimes use phrases such as viper in a diaper and instruct us to tell our children as soon as possible how wicked they are because of sin. The common scripture they quote is Psalm 51 verse 5. It says, Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Wow! At first glance, that seems pretty definitive, right? Well, context matters. A single verse cannot be lifted out of its context and used in ways that are contrary to what the context intends and what other scriptures teach. Let's take a look and consider for a moment Psalm 51 verse 5 and demonstrate how advocates of original sin are not using the context properly. Psalm 51 is a confession of King David's great sin against God. David betrayed an ally named Uriah through adultery with Bathsheba and then had Uriah murdered so that he could marry Bathsheba, who was Uriah's wife. We can see the drama unfold in 2 Samuel 11 and 12. When David was convicted of his treachery, he used his gift of poetry to show the awfulness of his sin. If verse 5 is a literal confession of a sinful nature from birth, two problems arise. The first problem is consistency. Other verses in the psalm do not make sense when taken literally. Hyssop would cleanse sin, verse 7, and God would break the bones of sinners, verse 8. When understood figuratively, we see the poetic beauty of David's confession. He's poetically saying, I've done something so awful against Uriah and against God. It's so bad, I'm like a baby wallowing in sin. The second problem is accusation. David would be directly charging God of making him a sinner. David wrote in other Psalms about God as his maker. If David knew God made him and also knew that he was brought forth in iniquity, then David's 51st Psalm would not be a beautiful confession of guilt, but an accusation, an excuse that he was simply born this way. The main idea of this psalm is that David used poetic and figurative language to confess his sin before God and restore a right relationship with his maker.